Our voyage has taken quite the dark turn. This was most unexpected. Curse that witch! Floraburn has transformed us into rats and kidnapped my son, Timothy! Things hardly look better for you four. If we get out of this, all that awaits you in Britain is a trial for high treason. They will try you, and very likely find you guilty. The penalty for such crimes, I'm afraid to say, is death. Such is the fate of all who rebel against the crown. Your trial will be fair, but your guilt is beyond doubt. But perhaps you do have some luck. My misfortune could be to your benefit. A captain can never abandon the sacred duty he has to his ship or crew. At any cost to myself or my family, I must remain to guard the ship. So here's my offer to you. Rescue my son Timothy and defeat Flora Byrne. Bring me the witch, dead or alive, I do not care which. In return, you will be cleared of all charges. So, is there one among you crazy enough to captain this mission? Take this amulet. Flora dropped it during her escape. Perhaps it will be of use to you. It is none to me. allowed in right now on account of the repairs what we're doing. Captain's orders. Blacksmith? That is THE blacksmith. Ain't here at the mo. Come back later. He'll probably give you a hand. And sakes, no recruits. It's been so long since we've had newbies. I remember the last one, young Jimmy. 
What a great student. We fought together in Port Royal, and he did great, Jimmy did. But unfortunately, he lost his ear in that fight to the death with spoons. He might have been Admiral. Without the ear, the hat just wouldn't stay in place. Anyway, enough about that. You listen here, recruit. Do you want to hear Major Mallory's martial lesson? Here's how to attack. Easy. Too easy, recruit. All right, then. What about an air attack? Bravo. Good work, recruit. We'll make something of you yet. On to the next. Try a crouch attack. Nearly there. How about a jump attack? Also block and parry attacks if they're on your toes. Land six alive. We're cooking with petrol now. We'll make Perhaps you could do me a small favor. One of those filthy pirates stole my treasure. A picture of my wife. It's very valuable to me. If you got it back. I would be much obliged to you. Hellish crab! Always cheating! I'm sure he's got an ace up his sleeve. Or, you know, in the claw, I guess. If only I had a gosh darn ace of spades, I could beat him in this round. This bad streak can't go on forever. What are you looking at? You're making me nervous. I can't play poker like that. Urgh. Careful out there. Flora and her gang of wrong'uns are making an army of monsters out there. <laughs> Quartermaster, in charge of supplies and provisions. Would you like to buy something? Ah, now why the long faces? You didn't expect the supplies to be free, did you? We lost a lot of our cargo and provisions in the shipwreck. What can be recovered will need to be rationed. Ah, but I do have a heart now. We can work out a little commercial agreement, to be sure. Would you like to buy something? Walter go. Walter! That boy's a slacker if ever I've seen one. If he's not finished with the bridge soon, we'll never get the good supply train going. Now, if you see him, you tell him from me to get shift in, or he'll be peeling potatoes for a whole month by thunder.
Wait, what's going on? Stop! Who are you, ghost? I am not a ghost. Mind your manners. I am Wu Yun, emissary of the Shen of the Southern Sea. And I've been itching to get out of the amulet. So you are the magical entity inside the amulet. Why haven't you appeared until now? Of all the things in heaven and earth, almost all are beyond your capacity for understanding. I will attempt to explain, however. The Eye of the Serpent has passed hand to hand around the world for centuries. We have always shown our favor to the Master of the Eye of the Serpent. And ever have we charged a fair price for it. Some have attempted to destroy it, but the Eye of the Serpent remains to observe the world. In its recent history, Flora Burns stole the Eye of the Serpent in the Caribbean. Flora is now beginning to grasp the power she has in her hands. And her abilities grow by the hour. By the Shogun's will, we completed our mission and found the Eye of the Serpent. But Flora boarded our ship and stole it from us. How could she have awakened your power so quickly? Enough. We have no time for further talk. Every minute is precious. Flora Byrne has the ring, the other half of the Eye of the Serpent, which was separated when the powerful spell was cast. I am owed a debt for my service to her, and I will take payment. My powers are greatly weakened without the ring. But harvest all the spiritual energy you can, and I will help you recover your strength, reward you with great powers, and perhaps I can make you human again. It is my duty to bring the Eye of the Serpent to the Shogun, and that's what I'll do. I will retrieve the ring at any cost. The amulet will be reunited. I will not fail. Perfect. Remember that your fellow prisoners can help you. And now my first favor. I will awaken your inner element.
Powerful magic in this place. Perhaps you could make use of it. Find other ancestral doors to teleport to different locations.
Think about it, Flora. Don't hurt the child. He has nothing to do with this. Give him to me. Are you kidding me? Are you really the best blacksmith they could find to come after me? This isn't worth my time. Fatso, get rid of them. Bye bye, rat. <laughs> Look what we've got here. A little rat looking for trouble. I've been locked down in that boat for so long that I can't even remember the last time I was at a party. But looks like the party's come to Fatso this time. Shall we dance? You really are a filthy rat. I wouldn't dance with someone like you for all the gold in the world. I'm gonna hit you so hard, your ears will dance. <laughs> Embarrassing.
Considered not failing. 